They're still in the hunt, but it was a tough weekend for the Dodge Boys, as both Brad Keselowski and Kurt Busch posted top 20 finishes in Saturday night's Bank of America 500 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Bush started 20th in the number 22 Shell Pennzoil Dodge Ultra Dodge Charger, while Penske Racing teammate Keselowski started 26th in the number 2 Miller Lite Dodge Charger. There were five green flag pit cycles in the race, and the final two did not go as planned for the two Dodge drivers. Bush finished 13th as 14 cars completed all 334 laps. Kozlowski was the first car a lap down when the checkered flag fell, finishing 16th. Kozlowski says with five chase races left, the racing season continues to be a challenging one. I don't know whether it's the tires or the cars or what it is in particular, but uh, trying to have confidence in whether or not you're a good car or a bad car is just unbelievably difficult because the small changes in the track or, or in the conditions or whether it's weather or uh, the rubber on the track are just night and day on how the race car drives and whether you're good or bad on any given day. Kozlowski is now sixth in the chase standings, 25 points behind leader Carl Edwards. Bush is in seventh place, 27 points in back of Edwards. In Friday's nationwide race at Charlotte, Kozlowski led three times during the first half of the race, but ran into trouble late and ended up finishing sixth. The Traxxas Torque Series wrapped up on Sunday in Texas, and Ricky Johnson, Bryce Menzies, and Andrew Cadell were crowned champions with Mopar-powered Ram trucks earning the Pro 2 and Pro Light manufacturer's title. And it was an all-Mopar Pro stock final round in the 27th annual NHRA Arizona National Sunday as NHRA Full Throttle Drag Racing Series teammates Andrew Johnson and Vincent Nobile faced off, with Nobile earning the third win of his rookie season. For This Week in Motorsports, I'm Pete Misiak.